have I have a yeah. feeling about it. I feel he didn't have the talent. If you don't no, have the talent, I, 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 I disagree. With that. Well, let the man finish his what? thought. Please, please. If you want to match up, yeah, match I don't like who you are today. <laughs> you ain't got to. I got on a goddamn Green Bay Packer which hat, which matches your shirt. We don't even you do know who purpose? I am right you, now. Is that you on your shirt? Yeah, that's I, not Dilla. I, I, that's Red O, baby. Jay Dilla, baby. What were you, what were you saying, I mean, Junior just, Blue? Just to go by what who Coughlin had on his squad. Now, before you, we're talking about twenty years. We're talking we're about talking 20 years. Jacksonville. Can you? How many definitive Hall of Famers are Hall of Famers to be? Sure fire. Uh, did he? Did he coach? Now That's match that match no, that not. up match that up you don't against think so, Tony mean Dungy. Not. Mm -hmm. and match that up against Tony. It's no comparison. Let's talk yeah. about it is a Tony Dungy's Hall of Famers. Exactly, Kevin. The they team Hall of Famers. Hold on, I, Kevin. Well, no, I, I'm gonna say I, I definitely agree with uh, with with Les, and I actually went with um, with Coughlin too, and I, I do agree to your point. I think his consistency or lack thereof is part of because of talent. And another reason is because his message kind of wears, wears thin after a while. Because mm -hmm. You can get so guys tough. to buy in for three to four years, but if you're preaching the same thing year in, year out, and, and, you're, and you're not willing to, to waive or compromise, I think that that kind of that drains your team. Like um, you, can ask, it, uh, you can ask Matthias uh, Kiwanuka mm -hmm. that one game where they— Matthias. <laughs> Matthias. Hey, I was struggling. <laughs> it's all the same. Yo, <laughs> Hennessy is kicked in. No, no, no. I was struggling all day. I said it today one time correctly, <laughs> and I was like, "I'm gonna get this." But Matthias Kiwanuka, yes, when he f he failed to tackle um, Vince, uh, Young. Vince Young because he thought he threw it already, and he just let him go. And Vince Young runs for 19 yards. They eventually win the game. You can Google it. Coughlin lost his sh collective shit on the sideline. He was <laughs> red faced. He ran up and down in front of the cameras. He was yelling at him, and that was when Michael Strahan went to him was like. You can't be doing this. We're veterans. We're we and and he actually he actually listened. So what I'm hearing, okay, so that's fine. So what I'm hearing is is his because I would argue it is consistency. It's consistent streakiness, but it's due to the fact that he is myopic. He is demanding, and it wears on his players. Now contrast that with the Tony Dungy, who. The biggest thing that he said that he got from Chuck No was the fact that he was a teacher, that he taught and coached hard, player number one all the way down to player number 53. And so we can talk about the wins, and, and they both have won a Super Bowl. They both have won a lot of games. But if you're, if you're talking to me— One has won multiple. If you're talking to me about a coach, if you're talking you to me about a coach who has a, who, who, who has a very— who has a character defect that actually impacts— the result of wins and losses to the point where they may lose six in a row. They may lose eight in a row. And they have the necessary talent to win. And another coach who consistently won in Tony Dungy. Uh, in I'm, the I'm, regular season. He won regular. He consistently won regular season games. games. They consistently Not when it lost counted. to San Diego. Okay, this so regular down season games don't to count. one name. And it's Reg for both coaches. And that name is Manning. Manning. Yes. You got... Eli Peyton, <laughs> or Peyton, the unluckiest quarterback in NFL history. <laughs> and you got Eli, who is the, by far the luckiest mm -hmm. quarterback in NFL history. Mm -hmm. That boy bad in the clutch, though, Skinny. No, he's not. That boy bad. He didn't have not. two Super Bowls, let's say that. Okay. And, and, and to the point about you talking about talent, <laughs> you had Plexico Burris, <laughs> Amani Toomer, Jeremy Shockey, <laughs> uh, Ron Dane, Tiki Barber, Eli Manning, that's on the front side. And then on their D-line, they had four D-ends. Yeah. They didn't have a D-tackle. They had four D-ends. Matthias Kiwanuka, Strahan, Armstead, and um, uh, Barry Coldfield. Mm -hmm. They just, depending on the matchup, they were just, oh, and then Justin Tuck? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Question. Coming off the bench? I had a but question. see, this is the thing, though. And we the reason why they're not Hall of Famers is because they were subbing in for each other. So you that's can't get mad the at them. That's not the reason they're not. Ron Dane? If if you gave him, I didn't score. I, I went to the hard way. Yeah, right, but right. his but but Ron Dane Ron Dane is nothing but a footnote, and I, it's I, particularly New York. Tiki Barber, and you look at what he did with Tiki Barber. He he he, he corrected his he, fumbling. He corrected. He changed his he changed his yeah. career. Right. And then Tiki Barber in turn changed his own career. Changed his own. Career. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got a little happy on set. I know what happens. It happens. You can't get caught though. You can't get caught. <laughs> Michael Strain is living Tiki Barber's life right now. For right? real. <laughs>